the Club Swimming Association and the meet director, so he's wearing multiple hats today. Wobbly on that start, not what you want to see when you got eight minutes to go. No harm, no foul. Fishes are going to let him go. So here we go, the men's 800 freestyle. We have three swimmers who are seated under the Olympic trials qualifying time. Those are the three swimmers in the middle of the pool. That's uh, Matthew Marsteiner, Nathan Sabota in lane four, and Ryan Erisman um, in lane five. So uh, uh, those guys should have already punched their tickets to go to uh, this year's uh, first swim meet ever to be held in an NFL football stadium. They're going to put the pool in the end zone and. Um, use the horseshoe for the seating and then put seating on the on the field itself uh, with a seating of over 30,000 people per day. So hopefully we can get everybody out there and fill it up. It's going to be some exciting racing. So this is an 800. It's still the distance event, but you'll see the swimmers being a little bit more aggressive than they were on the 1500. So we're at the 100. It's a still a pretty bunched up field. Not, you know, where the women's you saw, uh, you know, the field separate a little bit, but uh, we got, and I would anticipate with the three swimmers under the trial cut, see some good racing, at least through the first half of the race. You might see some separation. Uh, we'll see who's, you know, and you also, you know, if people already have their trial cuts, they may not be fully rested for this field, so we'll see Nate Savota is out to the early lead from Nova. Uh, he has had right at the fastest split every single heat, although that one he was, he was that last heat was a little bit slower than his two competitors beside him, and they're pulling up alongside of him. So watch these guys to go after it, um, and be they're going to be eyeball to eyeball racing. They're going to be watching each other, looking at each other, and, uh, you know, they see one guy pull ahead a little bit, it's going to drive them to dig deeper. And they're also, you know, um, you know, look at lane six. You got Luke Corey. He's he's right there with those guys. And so um, also, yeah. And so now that we have uh, Matthew Marsteiner in lane three took the lead there. So, uh, you know, this is a tightly bunched field. We might see a bunch of small lead changes throughout the race. Matthew Marsteiner again, 30.4. He's the only one holding 30 points right now. Everybody else is in the 31s. Um, Matthew Marstein, yeah, he's got a trial cut. I have, uh, just realized that uh, Samuel Marsteiner, his, his younger brother, is over there in lane one. So, but Matthew Marsteiner is being, being much more aggressive right here. 30.7. Ryan Ersman from Laker uh, here right down here in Florida, Windermere. 30.8. So he's going, he wants to go with him too. And now Aaron, Ryan, you know, he, for Ryan, you want to get out in front of the guy next to you, so you can see, um, so you can see uh, Matt uh, Marsteiner taking off. So, you know, sometimes a guy will take off, and you and you're hidden, and you can't see him because there's somebody between you guys. Well, now Matt Marsteiner's pulled out ahead of uh, Nathan Sabota. So you can actually see him. We'll see if we get him see him throwing some little bit faster splits. Thirty point five. Uh, Ryan was 30.9. So um, Matt Marsteiner is still throwing out the, uh, the fastest splits, but uh, there's a, boy, those guys don't want to let him go. You look at Matt. I mean, he's got a lot of swimming to go. Putting, he's got using the legs a little bit there. So, you know, it's going to take a lot of endurance to hang on to that. But uh, And he's 30.6 now. He's, uh, or 30.7. 
But now we see the other two guys, Nathan Savota, Nathan Savota and Ryan Erzman. They're 30.7. They're right with him. Three one hundredths of a second separating the set split. These guys know where he's at. They don't want to let him go. They want to stay with him. So that was the 400. That's the halfway mark. So we've got, you know, the full swimmers. That's an equal match. Uh, really be home 31 flat, 30 point high if you're going to have a shot to make a trial cut here. And really, you got to be 30 point. I think any of these guys that are, that were uh, 406, 404, 405, they've got to be 30 points. I got to go 30 point low. And now we're seeing Matt Marsteiner start to pull away from this field, 30.8. The other two are at uh, now the next three guys, Nate Savota, Ryan Ersman, and Luke Corey, all 31s. Uh, uh, William Siegel, 31.3. Evan Gluck, 31.2. So all of these guys are right there, 31.1 for, Ma for Samuel Marsteiner. So everybody's going to 30 or 31, and these guys are really doing a great job of racing. But it is Matthew Marsteiner is really starting to pull away. 31-0. The other guys are going 31-0-7, 31-2, 31-4, So he's just pulling ahead a little bit each 50 like we talked about. A couple, even, even if it's just a few hundreds, that can really have a big impact over the course of the race. I think it's interesting too. We got Luke Corey just kind of hanging around right behind that those those lead the lead three four swimmers. See if he can get up here and get get his legs going out there in lane one. Sam Marsteiner's really making a move. 31-1. Uh, so his, you know all of a sudden his splits are starting to come down and consistently in those low 31s. So he's going to make a run to get after these guys. Uh, he's currently in fifth, but he's only a couple of seconds out of uh, out of 34th place. So it will be interesting. We come under the flags. We see these guys come in underneath the flags, and they make their turn. This will be the last time of the race, and uh, we'll th this will be the last, the, what we call the bell lap. You'll start to hear some bells ringing, and that's to war let the swimmers know they only have uh, one more trip down and back. Matt Marsteiner looks to have this race in hand, but but Ryan Ersman just went a half a second faster than, than Matthew Marsteiner. Matt Marsteiner's coming up a little bit early. This race is going to tighten up. Uh, look at, you can see uh, Ryan Ersman in lane six. Uh, just, you can see him there at the two lanes over, and he is, you know, look at the legs. See these guys getting after it. Um, also, uh, Nathan Zabota in between them. These guys are all going to the legs now. Uh, all these kicks are, are, are getting a lot faster. <laughs> The 29-8. They are coming after him. It's going to be a great race here coming down to the stretch. What looked like an insurmountable lead, but it's, 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 it's interesting. Matt can see him, Ryan, but Ryan has just shifted into a different gear. Matt's trying to hold, but it's going to be Ryan Ersman from Lakers. What a great swim there. Really coming back here to the 28-6 at the last 50. Just by that last 100, you know, it's 57, 58 in the last 100. What a great last 100 to take the lead and, and win the race. 8.06, uh, is a, it's, that's uh, under his seat time. Oh, no, it's, I take that back. It's right at his seat time. 8.04 was his best. So we got three guys under Olympic trial qualifying um, uh, once again. And then I, I apologize. I wasn't really keeping track of where these guys fell, but... That was a great heat to so all. The um, top three swimmers there. We'll see you at Olympic trials. They're going to be back up in the awards stand in just